Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we report on inactive group members. This report is primarily used by the service no admin team or the service desk managers to see if there are any users which are inactive in the group. This is primarily used when there might be a situation if there is a ticket assigned to a group and for example, all of them are inactive and that ticket will keep hanging in there forever because nobody will pick up because all of the users are inactive and it might be a situation there are some roles assigned to those users who are inactive and they might be using up that license which can be assigned to someone else or the company is paying for them without any use. So let's quickly jump to service now and see how can we build this report. Now we are in service now and we will create a report from scratch. If you don't know how to create reports in depth in service now, please click on the top right corner. I will give the name as inactive users from group and then I will select the source type as table and I will give the name of table as sys user gr member. So this is a table which stores the relationship between the user and the group. Users are stored separately in a user table. Group names are stored separately in a group table and this group member table stores the relationship between both of these. That means which user belongs to which group is stored here. I'll just quickly show you here by clicking on next. And here we can see we have only two columns here called group and user and it says ITSM app dev has Aaron and ITSM app dev has Tash. So these two users belong to this group. So for every single user in a group, we have a single entry in this table. I will save this report quickly. And then to pull inactive users who belong to a group, we will put a condition here. And from drop down, I will select user and I will click on this arrow, which will take me to the user table fields. And here I can select active and then I will select here as false. That means show me the users who are inactive in this table. And I will save this again. And it shows me there is one user who is inactive and I will open this in a new tab and we will check if he is inactive in service now or not. And we can see here that user is inactive. Now let's try making other user as inactive and we will see if the report changes. For that, I will go to the list of users. And then I will make able tutor as inactive. I'm sure he belongs to multiple groups in this out of the box instance. And I will make it as false and I will save this. I will go back to my report and run this again. And we can see he belongs to database group and he's inactive. So this is how you can find out the inactive users in your service now instance who belong to a particular group. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in comments. If you have any questions, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.